students i am shelika from department of computer applications today i am going to discuss a topic of non deterministic pushdown automata in this topic i will discuss definition moves and language accepted by the non deterministic pushdown automata uh yes student dear students i already discussed the concept of pushdown automata in my previous video and i already explained that the pushdown automata is of two types first one is the deterministic pushdown automata and second one is the non deterministic pushdown automata and non deterministic pushdown automata is very much powerful as compared to the deterministic pushdown net automata because there are so many languages there are so many cfgs that can be accepted by the non deterministic pushdown automata but they are not Uh, accepted by the deterministic pushdown automata so non deterministic pushdown automata is powerful than the deterministic pushdown automata and in next example i will explain this thing in detail uh, i already discussed that the pre uh, in previous video that pushdown automata is a co collection of seven tuples in which i already explained that the seven tuples are in which the q is the finite set of states sigma is the set of inputs this one is the toss symbol and it is the collection of stack symbols q not is the initial state z z is the stack symbol f is the final state and delta is the transition function uh, all functions are same as i discussed in the deterministic pushdown automata video just there is a difference in mapping function that means there is a difference in transaction transition function that in nfa we, if we are passing a input to a state then it may be possible that we can reach to the number of states suppose we pass uh, there is a, we have we are on state q0 and input is a and the stack symbol is 0 it may be possible that at same time we are moving to the q1 state and at the same time it may be possible that we are remain on the same state so in the non deterministic pushdown automata we can move to the multiple states at a time now for the example of non deterministic pushdown automata let we have a language l is equal to let l is a language which contains w w r where w is a string and it it contains the symbols like a and b a and b and the combination of a and b so here w is a string uh, as we already studied one numerical related to deterministic pushdown automata i already discussed this example with you in my previous video in this for this example we push all the elements of w and pop all the elements corresponding to w r so first of all we can just push the elements of w and when c occurs it indicates the center basically it indicates center so we didn't perform any operation related to c we just push suppose in that example we taken in suppose we have a string w w is equal to ab and the reverse of w uh, w is b so we push the elements of all the elements of w into the stack and when the elements of w are occurs then we pop all the elements i'm just giving a brief introduction of this video for a we just push a after it for b we push b now there is a c for center we didn't perform any operation when b occurs then we just pop and the top of the stack is also b that means we have a same inputs uh, same symbols on uh, same uh, input sim input symbol and stack symbol is same so we just pop, perform the pop operation and when the input symbol is a top of the stack is also a then we perform the pop symbol uh, pop operation that means uh, that's all the basic concept of deterministic pushdown automata now but in this example in this language we have a language wwr that means we didn't have any center here suppose let's take an example again i'm going to take this string w is equal to ab wr is equal to ba now here we didn't didn't know that when we have to pop push all the elements and when we have to pop the elements because we didn't know the any center elements if i perform the strategy of this example then according to this example when the stack is empty 
it uh, first of all uh, whenever the stack is empty first of all we have to put the initial symbol of this stack uh, initial symbol of this stack so we just push the initial symbol of this stack to so, push z not after that for a we push a then b comes that means input symbol is b top of the stack is a symbols are totally different so we just Uh, push this element also. I am using the same technique that I use in this example. In this example, I just use the I push all the elements of W onto the stack, and whenever the different elements occur, that means uh, sorry, whenever the same elements occur, that means input symbol is B and top of the stack is also B. Then I just pop the element. When input symbol is A, top of the stack is also A. So I perform the pop operation. I am using the same concept here. That means if input symbol, if input symbol and top of the stack is same, is same. Then I am going to use the pop operation. So I am just using that concept here. For A, I used to uh, first of all this one is the first input symbol, so I have to push it. Now for B, top of the stack is A, so I push it. Now B occurs. That means input symbol is B, top of the stack is also B. Input symbol is B, top of the stack is also B. That means they are same. So I have to use the pop uh, pop operation. So this B is popped. Now again. Input symbol is A, top of the stack is also A. So both symbols are same. So I used to perform the uh, pop operation. Now I it comes across the Z not. That means top of the stack contains Z not. It indicates that my string is accepted. But what happen if my input string is this A A? My string is this A A, and then W R is again also A A. Now, यानि कि it means W W R means A A A A. Now, just perform the same technique on this example. Same technique. First of all, start symbol is Z not. Now, first input symbol A. I just push it. Now, input symbol is A. Top of the stack is also A. I am using the same technique. If input symbol A and top of the stack symbol is same, then I have to you perform the pop operation. Now. Input symbol is A, top of the stack is also A. Then I have to pop this A, but this one is not a center. So this one is not a center. So uh, that means the way that I am doing the concept is wrong. So uh, I am just popping the elements before the center point. So for this example, for this problem, I have to use two steps. That means first, first of all, I have to take care of that that whenever the input symbol is A, whenever the input symbol and top of the stack symbol is uh, same, I have to perform the pop operation. And whenever the input symbol and top of the stack symbol is same, then I have to use the push operation. That means again, I am going to repeat this point. Input symbol is B. Top of the stack is B. Both symbols are same, so I have to use the pop operation. But in this case, input symbol is A. Top of the stack is A. Both same. Both symbols are same, but I have to use the push operation. Because if I pop it, uh, they are, if I pop this symbol, they are, I am just popping this symbol before the occurrence of the center point. So for same input symbol. For same input symbol, it means suppose I am on a Q not state, and input symbol is A. Top of the stack is Z not. First of all, I am using the push operation, and also I am going to use the pop operation. I am using more than two operations on the same state. Pop operation is also there. Fine. So. Uh, for the same input symbol, that for the same input symbol for A, I'm going to use more than two states. Uh, I'm going to uh, more than two states. That means I'm doing the push operation also, and I'm going to do the perform the pop operation also. So this problem is non-deterministic state because a same for same input symbol. For if I am on a state Q naught and input symbol is A, I'm performing 
two operations simultaneously and i'm going to uh, uh, i'm going to the next state and i'm going to the different next states that means i'm going to q1 state q0 uh, state as well as on q1 uh, state i'm you performing the push operation as well as i'm going to perform the pop operation now just start, let's write the transitions rules of this diagram of this language that means first of all if i am on state q0 input symbol is a top of the stack is z0 then i have to perform the push operation that means q0 a z0 it may be possible it may be possible it may not mean it is always not necessary that i spring, my string is starts with a input symbol it may be possible that my string starts with the b input symbol so if b input symbol is there and top of the stack is z not i am just pushing this symbol onto the stack now next one if i am on state q not and input symbol is a but top of the stack is b that means input symbol is a top of the stack is b both symbols are different so i am just performing the push operation now again if input symbol is b and top of the stack is a symbols are different input symbol is different top of the stack is different so i am going to perform the push operation fine now if i am in state q not and input symbol is a top of the stack is again a now for same input symbol i have to perform the two things i as i already discussed that first of all i have to use the push operation and second one i have to perform the pop operation so first of all i am going to perform the push operation for same input symbols and the, it may be possible that input symbol is a top of the stack is a input symbol is b top of the stack is b so i am just going to perform the push operation fine now first of all i have to perform the push operation these all are the operations that are using the push operation and it may be possible that we are on state q not input symbol is a top of the stack is a as i already discussed i have to perform the pop operation fine right. so for same input symbols as i didn't know the center point of this language so for both the inputs if both symbols are same that means input symbol and top of the stack symbol is the same i am going to i have to perform more than one operation that means for same input symbols a a i am going to perform a push operation for same input symbols that means input symbol is b top of the stack is b i am going to perform the push operation but in this case if input symbol is a top of the stack is a that means both symbols are same i'm going to perform the pop operation and it may be possible that the string starts with b if the input symbol is b top of the stack is b then again i'm going to perform the pop operation it's fine so here uh, i think now you are able to understand that this one is a non deterministic question automata because for same input symbols for same symbols i am going to perform more than one operation here i am performing the push operation here i am performing the pop operation and i am going to more than one state and more than one state that means this one is only possible in case of non deterministic pushdown automata in deterministic pushdown automata if i am on current state then i will go to maximum one state uh, i will go to maximum new one state next state is next state is only only one fine 
whereas in case of non deterministic push down automata we can move to the more than one stage we can perform more than one operation on a same stage and it may be possible that the mistake will move to the more than one stage now at last when we i perform all the operation i am considering all the cases i am considering if the input symbol is different if the input symbol is same uh, then i have to perform the push operation as well as i have to perform the pop operation at last when our input string is finished that means now i have all the i am performing all the push and pop operation that means now uh, no input string is there no input alphabet is there and top of the stack is z not at then i am going to the final state and top of the stack is this fine well, that means now uh, no input string input symbols are finished now the, i didn't have any input symbol so top of, uh, input symbol is epsilon and top of the stack is z not and then i just move to the final state and top of the stack remain contains the z not so this one is the language acceptance so this one is known as the language acceptance through final state final state as i already discussed that in case of push down automata whether it's a deterministic push down automata or it gets uh, a case of non deterministic push down automata language acceptance can be done through two ways first one either we reach to the final state or either we can just remove all the elements from the stack so if i am considering second one also this one is the acceptance to final state if i if you want to remove uh, if we want to remove all the elements from the stack then this operation is written as that means if you are on state k1 input symbols are no more input symbol is epsilon top of the stack can is z not that means now i have to remove all the symbols from the stack that means be on the state k1 and remove all the symbols from the stack that means remove z not from the stack if we remove z not symbol is also from the stack now our stack is empty and it will be shown through epsilon so this one is the language acceptance by empty stack that means i removed all the elements from the stack so uh, please remember that i that either uh, we are taking the example of deterministic push down automata or we are considering the non deterministic push down automata language acceptance can be done through two ways either through the final state or it may be possible that acceptance should by the empty stack if you are want to uh, Uh, accept the language through final state that your kf is your final state and top of the symbol contain of top of the stack contains z now if you want to accept the language by empty stack that be on that state and remove z not from the stack if you re we are removing z not from the stack that means now our stack is empty and if our stack is empty it will be shown by absent Okay. i hope now you are able to understand this concept just this one is non deterministic push down automata i'm just going to repeat the main point because in this uh, example in this language we didn't know the center point center point is missing we didn't know the center point fine so we didn't know when we have to push the elements when we have to pop the elements as uh, in deterministic push down automata i am taking the example wcwr there c is the center point so we know that we have to push the elements before c uh, the elements data before c we have to push those elements into the stack and the elements data after c corresponding to that i have to remove those uh, on the occurrence of uh, after c elements i have to perform the pop operation but in this case center point is missing so more than one cases can be considered here that means for same input symbol i have to perform the push operation as well as i have to perform the pop operation okay. thank you